Welcome guys, we're going to fill out our analogous color scheme brainstorming sheet. So I have my brainstorming sheet. I have the picture I'm going to look at. Normally I would look on my phone, but again, I printed it so you can see. I have my color wheel. Yours looks a little different, but I have my color wheel with me and I have my colored pencils. Again, yours look a little different, but just for the sake of demonstration, I've got mine out here. Okay, with the analogous color scheme brainstorming sheet. Step one, choose three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. We remember that analogous colors can be two colors to four colors to five. Usually we talk about them in sets of three. So I'm going to pick three colors that are all in a row. Now for my snail, I felt like doing a snail today. I think I'm going to go in this range. So I think I'll do blue, green, blue, and blue, violet. So I'm going to write them here on the line, blue, green and remember that uh, tertiary colors have a dash between them so it's blue dash green and then I've got blue and then blue violet so that's blue dash violet okay if I need a fourth color I'll probably add on green so I might green write green in parentheses there just to remind me okay cool so I can set this aside for now um next I'm going to just color in lightly what's going where. So I sketched my image. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just so I can decide where my colors go in advance. So let's grab my colors. So I'm going to need blue and violet and green for my blue green. Okay. If you have colored pencils that have them already mixed, like uh, this is kind of a good blue green. Well, actually, maybe not. I could use it. So if this was a good blue green, I could use it. But since I don't really, or you don't have them in your kit, I'll just show you how to mix them. So now I'm going to lightly color them in. Um, I think I'm going to start with my blue green background. So I'll just do a layer of blue and then a layer of green. All right, here I go. Okay, so now I think I'll do blue on my snail and then blue violet here. And then I changed my mind. I might make these stripes green or I might make them violet. But let's go ahead and get some blue on there. Okay, and this is so light, I could leave this white. I might make it a really light violet and then make the stripes a really dark violet. It's okay to change your mind. When you're doing the brainstorming sheet, it's so you can be planning your attack. And maybe you have an idea at the beginning that you think is gonna be good, but then once you get going, you realize that you might wanna do something else. It's okay to pivot, and that's what this is for. So I'm using this as an opportunity to problem solve and adjust. And then as I go on to the final, it's okay to change my mind there too. This is all a fluid process. Okay, and I'm just doing enough to remind myself of what is what. So I'll do a couple of purples, just so I remember. Purples go here, and then maybe I'll make this kind of a light violet to remember that I'm gonna do um, I'm going to do a white plus violet, so I'll do a tint of violet on the shell. I might actually want to make this the blue violet. Right now I don't have any. I've got blue, blue, green, and violet, but I need that blue violet. So maybe I'll make this part of the body the blue violet to bridge that gap. We're just trying to have three or four colors that are next to each other um, in this picture. Okay, well I've done some good thinking here, some good brainstorming. 
I've used at least three colors in a row, actually four colors in a row. I have a good idea of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a couple more stripes and then I'll take a picture and turn it in.